Aloha, Maui mommies. I'm Gina Ivalani Nalawai. I live in Makuau. Um, I'm here with my family in isolation, doing the lockdown like many of you are. And I wanted to just take some time to share with you a little bit about what I've been going through. Just like most of you, my life four weeks ago or three weeks ago even, looked so vastly different from what it looks like right now. I have a spa in upcountry Maui. At that time, I was running three businesses. I have four children that I have been raising, and um, you know, I'm a wife, of course, and I have a staff of 20 therapists that work with us, and how did we know that in just one moment, everything was going to change. <laughs> I was supporting my community, doing Lomi outreaches. I was dancing hula with my hula sisters every week and taking the kids to their various activities. And then just in that moment, everything shut down. And right now, my spa is closed. We aren't considered one of the essential businesses. All of my staff has been laid off. Um, it's a really scary time. And if I think back to when that first started happening and when the realization was like, yes, this is really happening, it is really happening. And each morning waking up and thinking, oh, that wasn't just a bad dream. Actually, this is really going on right now. I felt like I was drowning. I felt anxious. I was fearful. Um, I was worried. I was worried for the people that were sick. I was worried for my elderly parents that live on the mainland. And like many of you, I felt like I was sinking. And I realized that when I went to those depths and had to turn inward because I wasn't receiving any support at that time from the outside, everything was just so uncertain, I really had to dig deep to my roots and to my values. And remember that we get to choose exactly what we do with ourselves. With each and every thought, we get to choose. And you know, one of my teachers, Auntie Mahi Poi Poi, shared with me that where your thoughts go, energy flows. And I could see that I was allowing my thoughts to control me instead of me being the one that got to decide exactly where my thoughts were going. I realized, oh, that's what I've been missing right there, is that divine breath that divine breath of aloha. And actually, aloha means to face forward towards one another and to face spirit with that part of us that comes directly from spirit and exchange divine breath and invited that deep breath of aloha into my being. I felt so much more calm. I felt so much more at ease, so much more at peace. And I decided that I was gonna be the master of my own moment and I was going to choose moment to moment each and every thought that I wanted to participate in. And it doesn't mean that I still don't as one more thing comes at us on the news or something like that. The world doesn't make me go into that, you know, momentary um, freak out. But I get to decide how long I want to sit in that freak out moment. And then I'm going to come back to those tools that I have to just bring more breath and aloha and really trust that we're gonna be okay, we're gonna get through this and we need each other in order to do that. So I wanna thank you for participating in this group and in this time where we can come together and support one another. Aloha is my support and so I wanted to share that with you today.